verse of the day the 22nd of April 2023. But to you who are listening I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Luke 6 27-28. Thoughts on today's verse. The first thing to note is that Jesus' teachings here are a radical departure from the norms of his time. In ancient Jewish society, it was common to hate one's enemies and to seek revenge against them. Jesus, however, calls for a different approach. He instructs his followers to love their enemies, to do good to those who hate them, to bless those who curse them, and to pray for those who mistreat them. This is a message of nonviolence and compassion. Secondly, this passage is not just about how we should treat our enemies, but also about how we should view them. Jesus calls his followers to see their enemies as fellow human beings, created in the image of God, and worthy of love and respect. By loving our enemies, we can break down the walls that separate us and begin to see each other as members of the same human family. Finally, it's important to note that Jesus' call to love our enemies is not just an idealistic concept, but a practical one. When we love our enemies, we often disarm them and can create an opportunity for reconciliation and peace. This is not always easy, but it is a powerful way to break the cycle of violence and create a more compassionate and just world. Prayer for the day. Dear God, as we reflect on the teachings of your Son, Jesus, we are reminded of the importance of loving our enemies. We ask for your help in following this command, which is often so difficult for us. Help us to see our enemies as human beings, created in your image, and worthy of love and respect. Give us the courage to reach out to those who hate us, to do good to those who wish us harm, to bless those who curse us, and to pray for those who mistreat us. May your love flow through us, even in the most challenging of circumstances. Help us to be peacemakers in the world, spreading your message of love and reconciliation. We pray for your guidance and strength in living out this teaching, and we ask for your blessings upon all those who seek to follow in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus Christ. In his holy name we pray, Amen.